Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, welcome to, well, it's going to be a project more than a cheeky vlog. I am making another table. Uh, the gal I made a table for a couple of Christmases ago, uh, she just bought a house. By the way, I should keep pushing this button to autofocus. Um, so I'm going to make her another table because that one I made was a bit unstable. So I wanted to kind of make her a good outdoor table. She wanted really a ping pong table, but didn't like the way ping pong tables looked. So I was going to make one. There's some ping pongs there. Oops, wrong button. Anyways, so now I'm just kind of, uh, oops, focus, focus, focus there. There we go. Okay. <laughs> so uh, it, ping pong table is nine by five. Uh, that's a bit long. So I decided to cut it down by two feet and this is going to be seven by five. So, also, by the way, new camera, here. if you look, hello. So, I'm testing this guy out. I have a microphone clipped to me, so focus. Anyways, I need to figure out how to do autofocus or if it's doing it itself. It's hard to tell with the small screen. I think I could tap and it focuses. Mmm. Again, indigestion. I had some uh, Chick-fil-A for lunch. Anyways, so, as I keep focusing, this is going to be, okay, so the, by the way, this all cost me uh, about $300 in lumber. So don't tell her that. It's a present I don't want her to think about how much it actually cost me. Anyways, the bulk of this cost was these guys here, redwood panels. Uh, they are, there you go, that's a nice example of the redwood part of it. Anyways, uh, they're, what are they? One by six. True size is um, one by 5.5. So I bought 12 of those, and they're going to be the tabletop. Uh, these are two by fours, and they're going to be the base, or essentially what those sit on. Uh, got some of those and some of those over there. Uh, the two four by fours, these thick guys here, are going to be the feet. So there's going to be six of them, six feet. And let me focus again. Uh, those two by threes are going to be what I nail the table, the, these two, so I put onto the base, et cetera, et cetera. Anyways, I thought I'd do kind of a progress video, I guess. May, not so much a how to. I could. I was thinking about I could do a time lapse, uh, put the camera up there and just kind of slowly show me building it. But instead, I'll just do little shots here and there as I go. Not only that, again, it gives me a chance to try out this camera. So. Oh, well, anyways, so I'll see you in the next segment. All right, so I'm already about three hours in. I'm at my first point of stoppage, not on purpose, but here's the uh, frame. And the reason I need to stop is those are all the screws I have left. Hold on, focus. And uh, the issue is I'm gonna need a bunch. Uh, hold on, let me move my hand so I focus on it there. I need about uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, so about, one, two, three, uh, sorry, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I need about ten just for this thing here. There's going to be a lot of metal there, some there, some there, there. Anyways, I realized I've also already made my first mistake. The table is supposed to be seven by five. The table top is supposed to be seven by five. The frame is supposed to be two inches smaller, so there's overhang. I made the frame seven by five. So that means I have to add two inches. What I'll probably do is, again, since she wants a ping pong table, that's a perfect excuse to, um, between all the uh, redwood, put a two inch strip of pine or some other uh, color wood down the middle. So it looks, again, it's, it just looks like a nice design, but when you put a net over top of it, it acts as that middle line of a ping pong table. So that's all that means I have to do. But already, three hours in and I've already made a fairly big mistake, but easily fixed. So, uh, anyways, like I said, these are all two by fours. Uh, again, that's, as I just pointed out, seven feet by five. I use, oh, my miter saw for the first time. I bought this. It's nice because it actually folds up like that so I can store it anywhere. So that's why I bought that. Anyways, a miter saw to get these nice corners here. So nice and clean there. So again, these are four by fours right here. We're going to act as the feet. And again, some more two by fours. We're going to add some more support there. And again, once I get the table ready top, 
And actually, I'm going to have to get my truck out of here because, as you can see, it's a bit tight on space, and I need to get rid of those boxes from Christmas, and as well as those 300 pounds of cement. <sighs> Anyways, uh, once I put the, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. At uh, the top, I'm going to have the two by uh, threes up there. Again, remove my finger. It focuses on that. Uh, I'm going to have those run down the middle here, and that's A, go hold the boards together, but B, also go to be slight support. So, but yeah. So now I'm going to have to figure out, not only that, I'm going to have to add two inches on the edge here on this side. So that means it's going to be, well, yeah, seven feet, 0 0.2, five feet, 0 0.2, which is fine. Again, I measured for these boards are four inches short of five feet. And then I have two inch frames around the edge or rather one inch on each side. Wait a minute, is that going to work then? Uh, I may be hosed more than I think because I think those are only one inch and the two inches wide rather than so that means shoot I may have to get another board and figure this anyways so again uh, uh, what was I saying yeah uh, as far as extra inches lengthwise all these boards are eight feet tall so I have an extra feet I can just cut and uh, leave an extra two inches on each side which would make it actually yeah so that's, that's four so that's almost seven and a half by five and a half, an inch or so off. So two rather to be accurate. Anyways, okay, I don't know what I'm doing, but here's where I am so far. Time to go get some screws and not at the whorehouse, haha, <laughs> anyways. Hello, I'm sitting on something. It's the frame I built another three hours later. And by the way, the noise you hear in the background is of course Overwatch League, I was just, have it on the background on my phone there. So, anyways, but here it is, standing up. Again, four inches too wide. It's focusing on the ball there. There you go. Four inches too wide on both ends. So, I'm going to have to get creative and solve that. But otherwise, yeah, I could actually sit on it, wiggle, jump around. Only thing that worries me is, as I was flipping it up, how well it handles uh oh wow my hands are dirty uh like i said that kind of side to side so if it's ever on its side if it's at that angle if it'll snap because again the only way that's well the only thing that's holding up we have a screw here screw here then we have three three uh two 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 so you have three screws holding this up then two holding it to that sorry i was looking you weren't so yeah two here two here Again, so that's all that's holding it there for now. Almost feel like I need maybe another one here bracing it in. Or maybe some base ones, a long one going around the base and then kind of each leg having its own. You know, I'd have to get fancy with that if I want to make that work focus. So, hmm. Oh, well, but now I actually have there we go. What decently looks like a ping pong table or a table. Again, this is going to be outdoor table more than anything. Uh, let's grab a board here. Again, just barely bigger than my garage. There we go. Like I said, I may, I've been thinking about not even cutting these boards. They're eight feet. And this is seven feet, so that'd be like a, essentially six inches. Actually, again, eight feet usually isn't eight feet. It's usually cut just differently. But again, I love that subtle red, well, subtle, the mix of red and pine in that, or I call it pine wood grain. So, uh, a lot of noise. Hold on, let me, let me mute you here. Sorry. Anyways, so that's going to be the next thing. And also... Uh, you kind of see right here, that's a little bit high, so I need to sand it down, smooth it out. But again, we have a table. Actually, I haven't even, I made sure all the feet were level. I wonder, are you level? Uh, slightly askew. Actually, let me do it this way. You look better that direction. Huh, oh well. So, again, this is an outdoor table. Not going to be too fancy. It just has to be waterproof. 
Oh man. Anyways, so uh, let's see. It's now, and again, my phone thinks I'm working. Uh, what is that? Seven o'clock? Seven fifteen? Oh, again, it says up there. So now, what do I do? Because now that I have these up here, and again, these are just, I got bigger screws than the ones I had before, so they can reach into the two by four pretty well. A little bit of wobble there. I'm gonna have some feet to them, so hopefully that'll help even everything out. Um, what I need to do is stain this guy. Well, stain a uh, water treat. So right here, so that way it can handle being outside and getting wet. So that's gonna be the next thing, but before I do that, each of these holes here, I drilled a little bit deeper so that um, the screws can hide. So I'm gonna putty them up, then stain over it. So I'm gonna get some uh, stainable putty. So that way it'll take care, it'll max, match, again, quotation mark, everything else. A little bit of a gap there. Hmm. Anyways, so that's gonna be the next thing. So I need to get some putty, which I don't think, hmm. Oh, wow, sorry. Where I bang my chest is where you guys are. <laughs> so that was probably loud. Hopefully I edit that. If not, sorry. Anyways, I don't see any putty there. Might be out. No, I bet my battery's about to die. So that might be it for the day. Because again, I need to make a run to the store. So what I'll probably do is putty up the holes, let it dry, then I'll tomorrow put a coat on, record some VR videos while I'm let, what, letting this dry, and then I could do the tabletop. So that's gonna be the next goal. Again, I gotta constantly be focusing on this thing because the focus doesn't auto, so. Uh, well, anyways, so all that aside, uh, that's it for day two. I'll probably see you manana. Okay, so it's the start of day two and I've already started without you, ha. Huh? Anyways, yeah, I've already sanded a little bit. Excuse me, uh, as you can see by this guy here. I already went through two of these little pads here, not out of use, but I got the wrong type a while ago, and one, one type is sticky, the other type is uh, fuzzy. The fuzzy one works like Velcro on this, and that's how it's supposed to work. Anyways, so, yeah, so I putty these guys yesterday. Focus. No, focus on that. There you go. So I puttied these guys yesterday, and you can see the holes there, and or I said it also puttied the edge here, did a little bit of a against it, so it's a bit smoother of an edge there. So, but yeah, so now I'm just continuing to sand the edges, because mainly I want to have this be a little bit uh, gentle for people who pick it up. I don't want it to be too rough. I don't also want to sand it too much, because this is going to be the underside. No one's probably going to see this for the most part. But I do want to remove, say, these marks and uh, again, kind of smooth it up a little bit. So, but yep, yeah. also like on this side, over here, I want to get rid of uh, the little flap here. So I might as well just pull that off and sand off what the hole it makes. So anyways, so yeah. Then I've already taken all these guys and sanded it, no, I, um, last night I just kind of laid it on top to see what the table would look like and get a rough idea. I actually apparently didn't need to get anything really extra. Uh, these guys go over the lip by themselves, so I overestimated the size, typical guy thing. Uh, and I got this guy for the middle, so I need to do something special with him to kind of make him stand out. I'm thinking there's two solid red ones in here. And I might just have them brace this one, so that way this is the middle, red, red, and then you have the uh, mixture of the two otherwise. Anyways, so yeah, just thought I, oops, focus, come on, there you go. Just thought I'd let you know that I'm getting started and kind of set a starting point for day two. So, see you all. So now, after I say I'm going to flip this over and uh, stain it, essentially, uh, weatherproof it. So, I'll probably see you on that step. Okay, I am breathing in paint fumes and paint thinner. So if I start going woozy here, it's not the alcohol, it's <laughs> the paint thinner. <laughs> the turpentine, if you will. Anyways, uh, here's it uh, stained and, well not, well, it, uh, it's a stain slash uh, weather uh, sealer, what they call it, so. 
Yeah, whatever that is. Anyway, so I figured one coat is good also because I don't want to do a second coat because I'm lazy. So I'm going to flip this thing up once it dries in I don't know how long. And uh, I'll just put a light coat on the top bit, touch up any uh, pieces I might have missed. And um, yeah, then it's on to make the top. Focus. Oh, you focused on this guy. See, this is fun. Now I could actually play with this guy. Boop. There you go. We coming right at you. Anyways. <laughs> All right. See you in a little bit. So, so yep. I'm uh, watching this. The problem is I can't really watch it while I'm in here. The thing is, I keep thinking. I'm going again right now. I have cables here, like a real bat till I am, uh, running across there into both rooms. Uh, one going over there, one going down the hall there. So, again, I wanted to run them in the wall. Anyways, so I'm thinking I could maybe in the future, since I do lots of projects, because I, want, I have my TV here that I use for my Mac Mini, I could put an HDMI, because again, the TV's just the other side of this wall here. I could just punch a hole right now, and it pretty much goes straight through and do HDMI to HDMI. Anyways, so let's focus over here. This is, I just put on, I just flipped this over, and again, I just use paint thinner, so the whole place smells like, no, that, that's my footprint from my uh, work shoes there. So I don't know what I stepped in. I think I might have stepped in the paint thinner and it actually ate away some of the plastic on the bottom of my shoe. Anyways, so here's what the top looks like. And uh, I'm a bit angry about, like right there. That is a drip. Actually, there's a couple drips right there. Are you fresh? No, shoot. Yeah, there's a lot of drips around here, so I didn't do a clean job. But again, this is the base. That's why I'm not worried about, you can see all the stuff here and how god awful looks. It almost looks like an art project, but this doesn't matter. Wood's gonna sit on top of here. Other than the people watching this video, no one's going to see this. By the way, hopefully my mic's working. That always makes me nervous. There's no sound bar in this, but yeah. So no one else is really gonna see what the top of this looks like. I just decided to wa uh, weatherproof it just as a precaution, by the way. I shouldn't step in the little puddle of paint thinner there. Stop swinging, thank you. Anyways, so, just put a light coat on top. And even there, actually I can zoom with you, can I? You can see another, again, I had it upside down, so that's dripping down there, so again, that's the inside of the table, less people will see. I'm more worried about the ones on the outside. Otherwise, not too bad. And the screw holes, as I call them, ah, that, they're kind of visible, shoot. That one right there, you can kind of make up the screw on it, so that's a bit disappointing, but the other ones seem to blend in well. Almost looks like knot holes. Let's look over here, sorry. Again, I have you guys zoomed in. But anywho, so. There you go. Of course, it's a bit darker here. Anyways, so again, why am I showing so much of this? All I did was flip it over, put a light stain on top. Uh, tomorrow is the real fun, because I finally get to design and build, and I just stepped into paint thinner, uh, the table part. So these are the, where the bulk of the expense cost. Again, this was $300 worth of wood. I could have done pine, and it probably would have been one third the cost. So. Oh well, I mean that stuff right there is definitely under 50 bucks worth of lumber and easily it makes a sturdy frame. So if I just put together some junk wood, I could have my own outdoor table for under 50. Anyways, what was I saying? Yes, the things I still need to work on. Oh, by the way, here is how this is all working. So this is a retractable netting. Here, let me show you. If we put this down over here, there you go, net retracts. So, and also, if you push down, that's how it clamps. Okay, are you all clear? Good, because again, it's hard to do that one-handed. So, and luckily, since the audio is on my chest, I don't have to worry about audio. Okay, again, my depth perception is off on this. I should actually look in real life. <laughs> so, anyways, so that guy right there is my determining factor on how thick my frame is right now. Uh, this is my frame. This is about, it's a two by one. 
But the thing is, it's not truly two as all measurements are, it's like 1.5. So putting that in there, I can still go bigger. I'm thinking maybe I should get a three because I think this can do 2.5, even though it says it can only do two inches. So I may make the frame bigger, which will help hide the bottom some more and just in general look better. So, but again, the other question is how am I going to lay these guys down? How am I going to have them go? Anyways, I'm talking a lot about all I did was put a stain on top, let it dry. Tomorrow I got to do some more stuff and then I'll put the thing on. It's going to be interesting how I do this because I have to clamp these guys. As you can see by looking on the edge here, uh, if I focus, they're not all the same level. They're a bit off. So I'm going to have to clamp them down as I go. And I can't just lay them all down and clamp them together to too thin to buckle. So what I'm probably going to do is, here's the middle. I'll probably screw or nail this guy down to my two by threes, uh, those guys there. And then I'll put one on this side, clamp it as much as I can, screw from the bottom, then do the same thing with each three segments, and then go to the other side, do the same thing. So each, essentially one by one, screw and clamp, screw and clamp, screw and clamp. So or the other way around, so. Okay, we'll get to that tomorrow. Otherwise, I shouldn't be standing in here. This is a closed environment with still fumes of paint thinner and whoo, it's getting me. All right, see you tomorrow. As ever, Overwatch on TV. Again, I still haven't put a hole in the wall for me to watch it. And it's the start of day three, is this? Anyways, I bought a cheap throw pillow, a throw blanket from uh, Kmart going out of business, so I got it even cheaper. So that way when I put the wood on top of here, when I put these guys on top, there we go. Ugh, it won't damage the wood up here. Sorry, again, I'm looking, you're not. Uh, it won't damage this wood. As the, I'm not so worried about damaging the top of the table, I mean top of the base, as much as I am getting varnish or stain and other scratches on the uh, actual table itself because what I'm thinking about doing is uh, doing this backwards, where this is actually going to be the bottom. So I'm going to take the uh, two by threes, uh, lay them, well actually no. So what I'm going to do, and actually I'll do that first and then I'll show you in a little bit. So be back in a second. Okay, so here's the layout. Roughly how I want it. Uh, this is actually kind of cool how these two seem to be from the same board, almost. But yeah, some of them almost seem to flow together. Anyways, like having the two dark ones anyways. So here's going to be the top. What I need to do is flip them over. So now this is the bottom. So, so I'm gonna flip all them over, put all that stuff on the bottom, then I'm gonna take, uh, again, I'm gonna cut those guys, but just for demonstration, let me grab a two by four. Gently. So I'm going to lay this down, or two by three, the proper size. And again, there's also one more board on each side. That's what these two are. And then screw them on, then flip the whole thing over, screw it on. So again, I need to flip these all over, which actually not flip, I think I need a reverse hopscotch with them. Sorry, focus there. And then screw them all together. And you can see already there's a couple of gaps I need to deal with, as well as that guy's a bit warped. So I need to push him down, as well as the one in the middle there. Anyways, so that's the plan. And that's roughly how the table's gonna look so far. So, I don't know, it seems kind of plain. I'm wondering if I should cut it up. Again, I could cut it up and put it in different segments, make it look a bit more distorted. Oh well, I'll see you. Who knows how long this is gonna take. It's still on. I just haven't been watching almost any of it because I've been too busy working. Anyways, so it's, uh, geez. Anyways, so that started, what? That's about four, five o'clock now. So let me focus here. So here, focus. There we go. So here's the bottom of the table. Not the prettiest job I've ever done, but the thing with these screws, mm, I swear I'm fine until I start talking. Uh, things with these screws, I have a found five pound bag of them. 
I'm never going to run out, is that they are just that deep into this. So I couldn't really go any less or any more. So I can't really do my trick where I uh, screw a little bit deeper and hide it unless I use the slightly smaller ones. But then that would require me hiding all of these. And immediately, this is going to be the bottom. Not many people are going to see this at all. So there's no need to make it look too pretty. I will weatherproof it a little bit. I think I'll varnish it like I'll do the top. Anyways, or lacquer, if you will. There's a problem over here, which you can probably see from here. If I had the garage door open, you could see it better. But here you go. Let me bring the camera down. You can see how out of whack that is. Am I in focus? Focus. There you go. So you can kind of see how out of whack this all is. And it's just this side here. So what I might do, because again, oh, ow, that's, a, that's my foot. If you remember, on each side over here, there's a gap right here for the four by. So I'm going to take a small guy, measure out the distance from here, hopefully get it right. And I'll do a little board, just a small guy, probably. If I have a two by two, which I may or may not. Anyways, all I'm going to do is just do a small guy across these half board here and just tack it in a little bit. I don't have to because once I flip it over, I should be, I could tack it down there also. And I might do that anyways, where I actually just go along the two by four on this side here and just tack each one down to the board also, which again, will level out that side. I don't know about the middle here. There's a little bit of a bump here. This board's a bit warped. It's the one caused me a lot of trouble. And I think there's another warped one there. So I might, and again, if this, this is warped up, which works for me, because again, this is going to be roughly the middle. Uh, focus, focus, come on. There we go. This is roughly the middle, so I could tack it down here, no problem. So I could, again, I could run screws all through the top, all through the middle, and all through the sides, or sides, middle. And again, since it's going to be the top, I'll do my little trick where I hide the uh, screw holes like I did here. So... Oh, focus. Sorry. Sorry, sorry. Again, I'm used to autofocus on this stuff. So anyways, that's where I am right now. I'm about to flip it over. And well, I'll flip it over and show you here in a second. <sighs> I made a slight mistake. It's too heavy to lift. Well, it's too awkward slash heavy to lift. So I don't know how I'm going to flip this over, then flip it back over to paint the or to uh, varnish the underside. What am I going to do then? Okay, kind of found a temporary solution. I removed the uh, end pieces from each, which means there's now a little bit hanging on each end. So now I can kind of control it now that I don't have it here. So now I can kind of control it from each end. So it gives me a little bit of lip. Also gives it something to stand on when I tilt it up. So there you go. See? So there we go. So now I can clearly see on the other side all the interesting stuff. Now I didn't damage the bottom, did I? Or the top of the table. And you can, again, see all the flaws I'm going to have to deal with. Oh well, time to get on the board. Okay, that was a lot easier. Especially because removing uh, that one and that one actually made it wide enough for my uh, wingspan. So I was able to pick it up normally. And then once I set it on the table, I could slide it there, guiding by the two handles, basically. So the real question, other than uh, how am I going to fix this over here, because you can now see the real problem is how up and down it all is. Actually, that's not horrible. Let me focus for you. Huh. Okay. Well, there's a little bit of a bump right there. You can just kind of see it there. Is that in the middle? That is in the middle, perfect. So I could pin you down ah, with a good place screw. So I may just do that. I may just run 12 screws right in the middle of each onto a, uh, how about the inner two by two? Or do I want to do the outer two by four? 
I might do the outer. Oh, that's the garage light. I have the other light on. Anyways, so, and the other question is how am I going to get these back on? Now, the easy answer is I just put them right here and I'll tap the screws myself. No problem. No fuss, no muss. Knowing that, that lets me see when I screw in this way how well that works. Uh, the NFL, the Super Bowl's tomorrow. So, oops. So I'm pretty sure there's lots of updates about that. Uh, unless Tom Brady just broke his ankle or something. Anyways, um, what was I saying? Yes, um, I could just put them back on, but if I want to treat the bottom, which I'm now debating if I do or don't, how do I do that? The most likely answer is I flip this back over, which now I can do on whim. I treat the bottom with varnish. I let it dry. I take these boards, this one and that one over there, and I varnish them separately, the bottom anyways. Then I just flip this back over once it's dried, because I'm just going to treat the bottom once. Again, it's just uh, preventative. More than likely, no liquid's going to get on the bottom, but it doesn't hurt to put one coat of varnish on the bottom. So, I'll probably do that. Because I did label, where is it? It's somewhere. Actually, I don't, it doesn't matter if I labeled it or not because, there they are. Oh uh, yeah, there's holes. So this is the bottom. I did put a X or a B on this and you can't, huh, I swear I put it on here. Oh, there it is. There's the B. So that way I know which is the bottom. So I can just varnish the bottom and then varnish the bottom of this one. Again, same thing. There should be two holes in this one. I just put an X. So then I could just flip this back over, uh, then manually do the last one on each side and then we'll be golden. There's a little bit of wiggle room though, it looks like here. So I'm gonna have to figure that out. Again, it's not perfect, but man, is it looking rugged. Oh yeah. Oh. I'm pretty sure I can just put all my weight on here and it'd be fine. I wouldn't advise it, but it should be possible. Well, once again, once I actually put screws on in the middle, actually in the middle is going to be interesting because there's two middles. I could do either side. I can't do the middle middle. So unless I, to do symmetric, I might do symmetric just to be thorough. Because again, I'll just screw, uh, drill a big hole so I could hide my screw with putty. And then, uh, yeah, that'll be that. It won't be as pretty as I was hope because I was hoping just to have this be like this. Just put the screws on the bottom, I have one in each corner, and be done with it. But, you know, I'd rather have it be flat without me having to sand the hell of it, especially with that one there. So, I'll do that. I could actually physically hear my phone vibrate on there. Oh well. Okay. Well, that means I just need to flip this back over. And actually it means I need to pick out a varnish now. Oh, also I need to work on the edge. So once I flip this this way, once I varnish the bottom, flip this back over, inst uh, install the last two boards, and also I'm probably, I don't know, that's pretty smooth. Well, say I was thinking about taking my circular saw and just cutting off like a, you know, a, a fingernail width or what have you just to make sure this is completely level but it doesn't look too bad I think it was this side that might be a bit off yeah well right here a little difference so that can be taken care of with sanding I think so anyways again once I have this flip this way after varnish I'll do the edging then I'll varnish the whole thing three or four times because this is the top this will have the most wear and tear on it, so it needs the most treatment. So, and I didn't scratch this guy, did I? Not that it matters. This, this used to be my dining room table back when I had an apartment, so things have changed. Anyways, uh, yeah, so 
Now I need to go pick out a varnish. I've been going to the hardware store a lot. Oh well, back there once more. It's over and I don't know who won, who lost. So yeah, I'm gonna have to, actually I could just watch the reruns, I guess. Anyways, rains from above. Anyway, so I flipped it back over. I had some varnish here already, some semi-gloss stuff here. So I just used it and I'm gonna use it on the other side because I love the way this looks. Again, I'm a big fan of the natural wood color and this is a semi-gloss, clear semi-gloss. So you can see it just kind of brings out the natural reds and yellows, just makes it pop. I know for sure, especially around here, I got sloppy towards the end, that it's going to drip and there'll be little pools on the opposite side, but I need to sand the top anyways, so that's a mute point. Oh, I forgot to varnish those guys. So I need to do that next, or yeah, I should do that next. I just need to figure out where I'm gonna have them dry. Huh, that's gonna be interesting. Anyways, so that means uh, that can, that little guy there is, oh, that's my hand. That little guy there is almost out. So I need to go to the store and act this time and actually get a uh, big can of it or another can. Actually, one more of that size might work because again, I'm going to need to put, I wanna do three coats. So maybe I should get a bigger can. All right, anyways, just wanted to show progress. See you in a little bit. Okay, so several improvisations later, this is where I stand. This is pretty solid. If I lift from here, ugh, I lift up the whole table now. That is pretty fucking heavy. <laughs> but here, there you go, focus, is what the table looks like. So basically I went through tap down each one of these. So, and also to keep it uh, symmetrical, well, symmetrical, it's uneven, I found out. Anyways, to keep it somewhat as uh, looking symmetrical as possible, I did both sides. Now, right here, you see the extra hole? There's a drill bit in there. I lost the drill bit while drilling. So I switched to the uh, size slightly bigger, and there's a problem with that. Matter of fact, I can show you if I have a screwdriver. Uh, ah, convenient. I was just using it. You're on forward, you're on forward. So if I go to this screw right here, you might notice something when I do this. It's not stopping. So what happened, I used a bigger drill with a bigger size and longer shaft. Much like uh, guys who are too big, sometimes you can damage while going down. No, um, I went too deep uh, and ball rug. Anyways, no, uh, it's getting late, sorry. Anyways, so yeah, uh, so essentially those aren't catching. So these guys here, you see a color difference. These are exterior 10 by three, and these are eight by three, or eight by two, two, excuse me. So these go a little bit deeper. The problem is they wouldn't, all fit in these holes so i did every other one so it's somewhat holding but it actually goes down because some of these are awfully close to the surface which means when i putty come on focus focus there you go when i putty it's gonna be awfully close so i have to be careful that's what i'm doing next is i'm getting my putty there and i'm gonna putty up all the screw holes that's the technical term anyways so yeah there you go and then so basically i did all these what well, before I put these, this guy on. This guy or that guy, so that way I could see the edges. And I put these guys on last. So I did one just uh, every couple so often. So now that uh, still makes me a bit nervous. I wonder if I should put, <coughs> excuse me, stepping on a screwdriver there, speaking of which, you go back over there. I wonder if I should do every other one, one here, one here, rather than just in the middle, because. I mean, that's moving a bit. Hmm. Or I can get back underneath there and re-tap. I should do that. Uh, I need to go back under and re-tap these screws. So that's something I should do. Okay, anyways. Yeah, so I'm about to putty up. I just thought I'd show you uh, my progress so far. And this is probably gonna be it for tonight. After I putty, focus. It's weird, like, I'm gonna have to manually do this. And who wants to do it manually? Anyways. After I putty, I let it dry, and then I'll work on the frame tomorrow. 
even though I don't know, it's not too bad without a frame, but eh, a little bit of edging would go wonders. Again, that little guy right there. I think that's a one or all these guys in here. So anyways, yep. Yeah. <sighs> so I'm just need a couple more screws on this side and this side just for safety measures and then putty and then it's a night. On to what, day four maybe? I don't know, lost count. See you tomorrow. Welcome to day five or four or 100. I lost count. Anyways, yesterday was the national holiday, the Super Bowl. So I spent all day cooking and not really doing anything. So anyways, mm, my schedule has me doing this today and tomorrow's my last day if I want to deliver it, unless I want to deliver it before I travel, yada, yada. Anyways, whew, heart attack over. Again, Super Bowl yesterday, a lot of bad food. Uh, I'm just going to be sanding today as well as trying to figure out what I'm doing for the frame. Because right now my problem is uh, this eight footer here is exactly eight foot, which is the length of the table. So if I do that roughly, there you go. It's, you know, there's not, there's no gap there. The cord there is blocking it. So that means I can't do the 90 degree corner. So what I'm thinking about doing is focusing, uh, is cutting off an inch from the edge. And then uh, that will give me the inch to do the, uh, my, uh, use the minor to do the corner, et cetera, et cetera. Anyways, yesterday, I also bought this guy to help me out to go faster, mainly because I'm trying to remove the edges here, which it's doing an okay job of. So, but it's not going to completely get rid of them. I still feel an edge right there, and the one on that side is pretty deep. So, but anyways, nothing else. This guy helps me remove the stuff quickly. So, also, I decided to put putty on uh, right there. So I'm just going to sand that little area, redab it with the uh, sealant, and we should be fine. So today's going to be a lot of sanding, then some uh, hopefully framing, and then that's it. The table for all intents and purposes are, is done. All I have to do is do layers upon layers of varnish. I'm thinking four layers ought to do decent. We'll see how it looks at some point. Anyways, uh, see you in a little bit. This video is very long and probably not connected well. But anyways, so I did the corners here. As you can see, I did it well, right? <laughs> yeah, there's a, some, so on half the sides here, they made it fine. I'm just a hair short and a dollar long. So I puttied up the edges, I'll sand them. Oh, come on, focus. And that'll be that, the end of that. Also, I gotta sand all my uh, nail holes here. The only real problem was over here, right there. As you can clearly see, yeah, this nail here uh, punctured up a little bit. So if I sand that, that's gonna pop up or something. I'm gonna try to varnish over it and pretend it never happened. So, so all I gotta do is wait for this putty to dry, which I don't know how long that's gonna take. Hours, I tell you, no, it's probably dry in like a, there you go, focus there. Probably be dry. I mean, it's already mostly dry. So I can start sanding probably in a little bit, but I want to get it really sanded. I'm nervous about this right here. You can see there, there's a gap there. If I varnish, it should hopefully fill the gap. I mean, there's a couple of gaps noticeably in the thing. So I'm going to be, again, that's why I want to put on multiple layers because once you layer, 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 It'll be thicker, thicker, and eventually the gap itself will just be varnish. So, at least that's the theory. Otherwise, I just wanted to show what the table looked like before I varnish, because essentially I'm done. I just need to sand it. Well, knock on wood, oddly enough, um, that no major hiccups will come. I just need to sand a little bit here and there, and then varnish, sand, Varnish, sand, maybe varnish, varnish, depending on how well the last couple coats go. So, anyways, I'll, I'm off to buy a laptop. So, uh, I'll let this dry while I do that. Otherwise, see you in a little bit. Okay, back from the store, had a little bit to eat, and I just wanted to show you the drastic difference between, uh, as I'm varnished, how it looks unvarnished versus varnished, how it 
pops that red there. Again, this is why I like, well, this is semi-clear uh, varnish. No, this is semi-gloss. It is clear, excuse me. So, but I just like the way it makes the natural wood color kind of pop there. Anyways, just wanted to show you, uh, you know, while I have a clear example of varnished, unvarnished, and the difference. And here we go. This is about the third coat. And it actually looks pretty shiny and nice. And so this is pretty much going to be it. This is day six. I just woke up, put on the coat, and shoveled snow. No, um, so I do this really quick. Let this dry and maybe put on one or two more coats because one and two didn't seem to be as thick as I like it. So I might do five or six, depending on how things go. But I have a feeling this one's going to take a while to dry. But this is pretty much going to be it. This is the end. My only friend. <laughs> so, uh, I like the way it turned out. I lie. <laughs> well, I'm very negative when it comes to this kind of stuff because I know every mistake I've made on this. I know what I wanted it to look like and how it turned out and yada, yada, yada. But this is a beautiful table. Looks good. It's solid. I'm pretty sure I could dance on it, short of saying jumping up the high rope and uh, benching someone into it, or the people's elbow into it, if you will. I don't think it's going to break the edge. I can, I can point out all the places I think it might, but it's solid, it's beautiful. Just look at that nice red and white, uh, red and yellow kind of, you know, bring out, so. Uh, yeah, so this is pretty much the end, so. I wish I would have maybe done the uh, plywood on top. So, well, not on top. So plywood, then I just glued the wood on, on uh, top. So that way to be less of gaps. But eh, I say that turned out pretty nice. Again, it's supposed to be also double as a ping pong table, but with these uneven edges, I don't know how well that will work. I mean, edges, I mean. Again, I'm pointing out mistakes. No, it's fine. It's beautiful. It's solid. It's an outdoor table. Oh, well, anyways, uh, thanks again for watching, and I'll see you on the next project.